Hey everyone, once again, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panders. Quick update from earlier this afternoon, really around lunchtime. Uh, the tornado watch was issued for the metro area until 8 p.m., but you can see we're kind of just in the very little area up here in Mecklenburg County, Charlotte metro area. Most of the threat's going to remain to the south. Doesn't mean there isn't a threat around Charlotte. It just means that the threat is primarily going to be south of Interstate 85. Let me turn the radar on, the satellite, we'll show you what's going on right now. As far as temperatures and you know the rainfall, we're kind of in a little bit of a lull, though it is still raining in Charlotte. Keep an eye on these storms back to the west. Let me switch to the local radar, and you can see that band of showers and storms kind of closing in on us, uh, moving from Asheville down to Greenville, Spartanburg. Uh, these look like pretty interesting storms when I look at the, the reflectivity and the velocity together. Uh, not much going on with this storm east of Asheville, though. It's something to keep an eye on. It's really these storms down near Lawrence I've been keeping an eye on. There's a little bit of wind in there. But so far, there hasn't been a lot of what I would call anything that would stick out to me. I really think later we're going to see these storms coming up from middle Georgia and southern Georgia that are going to be the problem. These are actually rotating up in this direction. And as you get closer to us, the wind shear is going to increase. It'll be the maximum heating of the day. And if we're going to see any potential for um, tornadic type storms, it's going to be with those heading north. So let me turn all this off here. And I want to go to the model data because this is an interesting piece of model data. I don't show very often, but it's something we call updraft helicity. That's just a fancy name for updrafts that are rotating. doesn't mean they're tornadoes per se, but means that the storm has a rotating updraft or a mesocyclone, which could be capable of producing damaging winds, hail, and a tornado. You can see as we go towards the afternoon hours by 6 o'clock, we start to see a line of storms develop. And while there's a couple little storms around Charlotte that look interesting, it's really these, these between Augusta and Columbia that have the biggest potential. This is seven o'clock and you can see right around Columbia and then up here into areas of Chester County and in around Charlotte. So there's definitely a time frame there around six or seven o'clock uh, to eight o'clock that we need to watch. This is actually eight o'clock, a little stronger cell developing. So certainly something to keep an eye on in this time frame, six, seven, eight o'clock as these storms rotate through. So that's the updraft hill. So let me show you what that looks like uh, good old fashioned radar wise. You can see this band of showers coming in and what you're seeing is this this line of storms they're not your typical what we call supercells individual cells this is one of those squall lines that within it will have storms that could possibly be rotating in there so that's what we're watching again the time frame severe weather is going to be 6 to 7 p.m. tonight let me turn the radar back up you can see the tornado watch up till 8 o'clock and remember a watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes to develop in and around the watch area when a warning is issued that means one was either spotted by a trained spotter or detected by Doppler radar so it's a big difference warnings up here at the top that means take action seek shelter no questions asked watch means from now until 8 o'clock watch the weather stay weather alert and stay tuned for updates uh, I may be heading into work here shortly and beyond this evening if the conditions warrant, but I'll keep things up to date and be monitoring from home. Have a great Sunday, and please pay attention to the weather this afternoon.